We see shirtless Tarkin. He's buff as hell. I know. We have to rank shirtless characters uh, in one of these episodes. I'm Googling shirtless Tarkin. <laughs> give, me, give me one sec. Could be Ben, maybe Tarkin. <laughs> shirtless Thrun. Incoming transmission from an unknown source. It seems to be urgent. Patching them through. They're calling themselves the Holonet Marauders. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Holonet Marauders podcast. I'm AJ and I'm joined here by my bomb bad Jedi pals. It's been a while since I could say that, plural, because last time it was just Jamie and I, and before that it was the studio cast, which was yeah. like quite a while ago. That Maybe was quite like, a while ago. We haven't done we this have in a while. Um, it was a while. We had, I mean, we ran out of ideas, and we didn't <laughs> Good. have anything to talk about. Go ahead and tell them we ran out of ideas. I think they know. I mean, if we weren't doing anything, <laughs> that's, that's kind true. of obvious. Yeah. There, well, come on, guys. There's, there wasn't much to talk about. Kenobi's coming up. I have the magazine behind me there. He's peeking yeah. in the back. The Kenobi. Um, Kenobi's coming up, Celebration's coming up, a lot's coming up, all at once, very Too overwhelming. Too much is coming up all at once. There's old Ben, and there's young Ben. That's I like nice. how it says Ben. I know. And then it's in weird. parentheses, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Like, that's not, know. like, it should be the other way around. It should be Obi-Wan, Ben, Kenobi, ben. <laughs> but whatever. Um, but today, I'm excited to be back. I think we're all excited to be back doing this. We are going to pick some teams for Grav Ball. <laughs> And if you're saying to yourself, what is Grav Ball? Oh, well, let me tell I you. I was saying that too. <laughs> I don't think... know. No, so <laughs> these guys, or Matt at least, wanted to do a pod racing pit crew draft thing. Um, but we've kind of done I a lot of pod racing stuff. We crew. can still do that in the future. Yeah. But let me tell you guys about Grav Ball. Let's this can be a, a, le- a lower lesson and Let's also learn a game. All about Grav Ball. So, Grav Ball, according to Wikipedia, was mm. a popular sport throughout the galaxy. The sport was often played on the planet Lethal. And the biggest like lore thing with Grav Ball is Zare Leonis from Star Wars Rebels. He's the kid that was with Ezra in the Academy, I believe. Yep. Yep. There's a book series about him. Maybe it's just one book. I haven't no, read it. It's a couple of books. It's They're all couple? by Jason Fry. Yeah. He all, he yep. had he actually had like his own like novel series covering him, he like smokes. looking for his Which sister, I want to read sure. these now after reading the lore. Um but Zare Leonis went to the Junior Academy of Applied Sciences. I think that was on Lethal. And he played for the Apsai Sabercats uh, as a kicker. Oh, no, wait. He was a center striker. That's one of the positions. And his girlfriend, Mirai Spanjaff, <laughs> was the kick, uh, kicker. Good. So okay. Grav Ball, I believe, uh, there's even a sketch by Jason Fry. It looks like soccer to me, like a combination of soccer and Quidditch and, and apparently American football. Yeah. Here's the quote. Um... It's like American football with a bit of netball and a touch of hockey. The hell What's is netball? netball? I think netball is Jason Fry British. Is netball like basketball? No idea, dude. Is netball, netball. like field hockey? There's no way people like, call like it lacrosse, basketball but netball. Not? Netball. Let's go play so some netball. So it's all of the sports it. all in one. Pretty much, a, I guess, picture a field, picture a net at the end of the field. And they refer to, the, to the field score. as a gridiron here. It so. is basketball. Or it's kind of like basketball. Well, that's what I, that's what I thought. I mean, out of the British. three of us, we, everyone think knows that I'm the big sports person. Then Wait, Jamie, yes. who I got into sports. And then there's Matt, who... You're telling me know. we didn't invent basketball. I'm you pissed. personally or well, they started, in the state of Massachusetts? Basketball started with yes, peach basketball baskets. Basketball sp- started in Springfield, Massachusetts, but according to the Wikipedia page, originating in England in the late 19th century, the sport is played specifically in schools and most popularly in the Commonwealth Nations. Pardon me, but that's called netball. Totally different. Pardon Net- me, it, dude. Uh, look at I this. I misspoke. Massachusetts is a commonwealth, but in the United States. There you go. <laughs> I w- wish you guys could see this picture. It's literally just basketball without a backboard. I've seen. So it's, that, it's like that little this. game at recess with like you huck it in, and you don't know which way it's gonna come out. I guess. No, Anywho, that's, that's different. Back to grab ball. Netball. Back to grab ball. <laughs> Nobody cares about netball. No, I, I care about netball. I'm gonna rattle off some more facts about grab ball over here. Uh, yeah. For some reason, this is a thing. In the time of the resistance in the First Order, collecting grav ball badges was a popular pastime among youths. I yeah. guess that's like that baseball from? cards. Baseball What's cards? the source of that? Um, I don't know. One of the one of the million books that this appears in. Queen's Peril, Lost Stars. Uh, 
It's Thrawn join the treason. resistance, escape from Vodran. That's what it's in. It's it's that's the source. I'm what, assuming someone what, just like collected them. It's a book. Second installment in the Star Wars Join the Resistance, a series of junior novels written oh. by Ben Acker and Ben Blacker. Got to get those. I yeah, I know of those ones. Those are the the youth novels, yeah. They in some Jay versions Squadron. of the sport, hover boots were worn while playing, but these were not allowed under Corellian rules on the planet Lothal. All right, so we do in Corellian rules then. Wait. So are we not having hover boots or not hover boots? The Corellian no, no rules boots. on Lothal. Yeah. Well, Why I, aren't there Lothalian rules on Lothal? Oh, pardon me, pardon me. Under Corellian rules or on the planet Lothal. Oh, or, okay. okay. So this is the Corellian League of uh, Grav Ball. Okay. okay. No Grav boots in Grav Ball. I don't know where Grav comes in with this, but... You're also missing out on the biggest thing. Go, uh, what, what do you got? Cubes. Oh, you roll chance cubes to decide who starts or something, right? The roll, what? So it's, the roll it's like, of a chance cube determined which team would start at the center line. Divide so I hear, the four and fifth octet. So the equivalent of a coin flip. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. Exactly. Like the NFL huh. is going to start doing that, I hear. So yeah, <laughs> look forward to that. I'll give them. I'll give them this pouch that I have. <laughs> I'll donate it to them. Um, but yeah, that's that's all there is on Grav Ball. I figured it'd be funny because everything's always pod racing while there are other sports in Star Wars like Grav Ball and, and mouse racing or whatever the hell those were. Oh, and mouse droid, droid football. Racing? Droid mouse football droid racing, in racing. Attack of the Clones. AJ, what was the name of that quest in Skywalker Saga we were playing literally last night in the Lego game with the mouse droids? It was on Kef Beer and there was a lot of fun stuff on there Kef was Beer. literally you had to go scavenge the Death Star wreck for parts and come back and build a little droid and it ended up being a mouse droid. Um, but it's like demolition derby. Well, like what's like, two, like, little, like or like um, what's the the show with the robots? Uh, battle bots. Battle bots. I was like battle bots, but like with the mouse droids. It was, <laughs> it was fun. Great. We gotta do that. Yeah, that we can do droid, droid fighting droid sometime. Droid. Oh, I meant to. I meant to great. say, anyone watching this, um, obviously, please like and subscribe if you can, uh, which you should be able to. So, <laughs> please do. <laughs> but uh, comment below like other ideas we can pick teams for. Um, or anything. We're always open to ideas, so yeah, let's hear them. Um, but shall we spin our wheel before and do yeah, something let's get that's off topic totally non? We get on topic. Yeah, let's, let's get off topic. It. We're too on topic, so let's get yeah. off topic. Well, I'm still stuck on. So that. Jamie's gonna spin the All right, wheel of the of force. The week. Oh yeah, the wheel of the force. Yeah. Might be a sponsored segment soon. We'll see. Maybe. Oh. Coolest creature. Quick spin. Coolest creature. That is coolest a very subjective question, creature. but coolest creature. Oh, jeez. Interpret that as you would. Tannis Spijak. No. That, he's not a creature. True. That is a sentient being. He's a hero. <laughs> uh, uh, coolest geez. creature. Coolest creature. Um, I got one. All right, go. The crystal critters. Oh, yeah. The I feel like we always... But I, they're, they're made of, like crystals i mean it doesn't get any cooler than that that's pretty cool that is cool um they jingle yeah they do um i love the wolf uh i think coolest creature today i will say the loth wolves because i think that they are very cool those are with, very uh, cool. they're not always seen but they only show up when like they want to be seen so that's pretty cool that pretty um cool. They're and they're like very cryptids. smart yeah mm -hmm. like yeah. a literally just chupacabras running around yeah <laughs> All right, I'm going with my uh, my favorite little buff buff fish, the Sando Aqua Monster, because he's <laughs> That's cool. ripped. He is <laughs> jacked, and he'll grab he'll grab one of these. And he'll just rip him in half. Pretty intense in the Lego game. Yeah, he shows up like he, yeah, he two pops times. up like eight times, it's like over and over. Again. I'm like, oh my yeah. god, leave me alone, dude. <laughs> Sando Aqua Monster. All right. Um, should we name our teams for Grav Ball before we, because I have a name for my team. I'd like to name them after, if okay. possible, because okay. depending on who actually gets selected, the name may vary. You're going to name it after a player? That's something. No, well, y you'll see. We should name them after the animals we just chose. That's what I was thinking. That's what we think. Okay. Of. Although I'm, I'm choosing something different. Well, what? <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Well, I, I thought of the idea because you liked you were so passionate about your thing. I was like, oh, Matt's team could be the the uh, Aqua Monsters. The Sando Aqua Monsters, the buff fishes. 
Okay, I can name mine. I guess yeah. we could if we want. Do we want it? We, let's we'll do it start after. with the let's, name. No, let's end. We'll do it after name. if you want. Okay, come it. and then at the end, just mention what you thought you wanted your name to be with if we were to name it in the beginning. Okay, we'll just mention. All right. just Mine's not okay. going to change, but All right. <laughs> I named a city too. Okay, a city. Okay, makes it more fun. That. Gives it some culture. Okay, sure. Um, um, Matt, roll the chance cube to decide who drafts first. So, but there's only two sides. I don't know. The way we're going to do this as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. Or you roll it for Jamie or yourself, and then you get to pick which one you want, which pick you want, and then uh, so on. Okay. I was just going to say, before we decide who goes first, um, we're just going to go based on which category it is first. We're just going to be like, this is the position, and we're all going to pick our player for that position. Okay, yeah, we can do it that and, way. And then I thought that's how we were doing it. That's why. We could have just done it at random, but we can do it that way. I think that's for sake of It'll clarity. be more uh, orderly, yeah. Yeah. So I don't get to roll? No, you can roll. You can roll. Okay. So if it's blue... Jamie gets to pick what pick she wants. If it's red, Matt gets to pick. Okay, then. I, I'm just going to roll because I want to roll. Just roll it. I just Let it rip. Roll. It's blue. So what right, am I picking? Jamie or me. Just pick. Do you want to go first? Do you want to go second? Do you want to go third? Because there's, benefits, third. there's benefits to all I'll of go them. third. See, third's good. Yeah. Um, Why is third good? I'm so confused. Middle stinks because you if, you if you're first or third, you get to go twice in a row. Oh, this is so. something we should have figured out before we uh, started recording. Uh, when do we ever do that? When do we ever Never. do that? Never. Never. So Jamie goes third, if you're following at home, which is probably very difficult. But uh, Matt, do you want to pick first or second? Or you can roll. If you're blue, if it's blue, it's you. It's blue. What do you want? I think it means a loaded. Uh, <laughs> I'll go middle. I like middle. All right. Okay. I'll go first then. Cool. So the first position will be center striker. All right. That is just someone who has the ball a lot. Um, you know, we're guessing like soccer or He's got the ball. hockey or whatever. There's no ball in hockey. Um, center striker. I'm going Your with turns? Sabulba. Sabulba. Okay. All right. I just picture he's if nimble. It, it, yeah, he's nimble and he'll just kick kick the thing around because he's like, he's pretty much like someone on crutches going around with his he's like got legs, arms for legs and legs for arms. Yeah, he's he's nimble. Yeah. Good luck I taking him that. down. Would he you can. say he uses a lot of um, headshots? Oh, yeah, like he a, can. The... And he wears goggles, so, yeah. like, the grass won't get in his eyes if there, I don't think there's grass. If there is grass. What the hell was that? Turf. Oh, it's, we it's don't know what, what they play this by. on. I we think don't. It... Is there tackling? We're, we're guessing there's tackling. Sure, we'll go with yeah. Lucasfilm, <laughs> if you're listening, um, yeah, these are the are. rules of grab ball when you show it off in live action. So, in Corellian rules, tackling is allowed. But right. grab boots not allowed. This is gonna grab ball is gonna be huge in Bad Batch season two. I hear. Yeah. Um, totally joking. Not a spoiler. But the batch is gonna have to play grab ball against. The batch is gonna form a team, and they're actually gonna be. <laughs> they're gonna play <laughs> against battle droids for like. Oh my god. A death match. Yeah. No, that's. I that's, like that. I hear. I hear that's what's gonna happen. That's a. That's a. That's a leak. It'll be like that episode <laughs> of Rebels where Kane and Rex yep. and Ezra have to like do the last battle, but instead yeah. of it being a battle, it's just a grab it's ball a match. It'll, It'll actually game. be the same group uh, with who's the guy in charge of them? Oh, don't ask me. I love I that, guy. that guy. Ryan's screaming at home because I know Ryan I'm loves sorry, that. Ryan. Uh, <laughs> but it's the same same group, and that guy has Omega hostage, and the batch has to play grab ball to save her. Yeah. This is like a real like a. Uh... And Rex joins them. Uh, yeah, there you go. And Cut Locane. <laughs> Cut Locane comes in to play like goalkeeper. Yeah, because he also has Cut's kids hostage. And then the <laughs> yeah, three of all them. All the kids are hostage. The B plot is them breaking out on their own while yeah. the Bad Batch and Cut play grab ball. And then the kids, they get into a lot of mischief when they break out. It's it's a whole big fun fun thing. It's That's an episode, episode three. Watch for it. I'm kidding. The B plot the is this is not a leak. This is not spoilers at all. We're making this up as we go. The B plot is um, Tech is at his in laws and Echo has to get him a marble rye. His in laws. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Who's married? I don't know. Cat look in. All right, that's it again. <laughs> Give me the rye, old bag. <laughs> all right. Um... Let me steal it from Sid. All right. <laughs> 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 or Jocasta <Jacastinu. laughs> Oh no. 
All right, um, Matt, I think you're up next. I picked oh, Sebulba. You picked Sebulba. All right, so when I originally did this, um, I didn't know the rules, so I made a bunch of, like, fake characters. Uh, I know now that's not what I was supposed to do, and I went back and I fixed up my team, but I kept one fake character because I liked him. I have an emotional connection to him. All right, keep him. So my center strike's name is Keith Oth. Oh. And he's Eve Koth's son. <laughs> who is <laughs> making his way that? through the sports underworld um, to make enough money to avenge his father's death at the hand of Darth Vader. See, um, now that's that like is um, good. That is a yeah. true underdog story. So Keith Oth is the main main player. A true uh, sob story. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I like it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everyone writing this down? I am. I have my team at least, mm. but um, okay. Jamie, you have the next two picks. So you get... I do? Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. You, so pick your center striker. All right. My center striker, I would assume this has to be someone who is a really good leader. They're pretty much going to be like the captain of the team, I would assume, in most situations. Um, so I want my center striker to be Rex because I feel like he would be the best at just taking initiative and getting everyone in line. Just, it's good to go. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah also, good. really good for if you need... Um, I always think of the one shot when he shoots the Rishi eel. <laughs> so it just if you need a clutch like hit, it's Rex. <laughs> well, I, I hope You're he's right. not having to shoot anything. No, but, no, no. Uh, but like the, the he's same got principle applies. He has good, good aim, aim with anything. Good, good aim. aim. Okay. Um. So that's that's my center striker, and then next round is uh the striker. Um. So I'm gonna the have another striker. The the off center stri <laughs> the off center striker. Um. My striker is gonna be fives because. He's one, another one that takes initiative and will just uh -oh. get in there and doesn't care. And so he's just going for it. Um, so I got fives as my striker. All right. <laughs> well, I have a question that I'm just thinking about now. Do all the clones have male pattern baldness? Probably. A little I mean, bit. I don't know. When what, they all well, get older, they're all bald. Boba yeah. Fett is bald. Django never got old enough to be bald. Well, that would be a good detail balding. because they're all the same genetics. I I would assume, yeah. yeah. Except like the, there are a lot of bald clones, is what I'm Hunter's saying. Or a not. lot of clones Hunter's with like bald. Hunter's just wearing a wig with like a yeah, high up like, like hairline. Um, yeah, they like all that. have the pretty high hairline. Now that I'm thinking about it, season That's two, a, keep an eye on Hunter's point. headline. That yep. thing could go at any minute. He does yep. wear the headband all the time, so I mean, maybe he is like suffering a little. That's probably purposeful. He's probably a little ashamed. Yeah. Sorry for exposing you, Hunter. It's okay. <laughs> you can embrace it, dude. Be he George. Wanted to, I think that, okay, sorry to get off the rails, but the funniest part when they all get the chips removed um, in the first season is um, Hunter, you can see the band aid like under his headband. Like, yeah. He, but he like, just puts it back on immediately. So, like, he took it off That's for the surgery, hurt. but the band aid's there. You never see like, him without it, right? No, you don't. But he took it off for the surgery, but put it back on. Nobody needs to know. I think he has like a scar or something like on his like upper temples that he's hiding. In my personal opinion, that is his personal headcanon, not not confirmed, but so he's not he's ashamed of his male pattern baldness and a scar on his forehead, but he's not ashamed of the giant skull tattoo he got on his face. No, not at all. <laughs> I think he has a big that scar up. that he's hiding. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> hey, you can't explain logic like that, okay? Okay, anyway. um, Matt, you can pick your striker. All right, my striker is <laughs> Thrawn. Damn. A very tactical <laughs> choice. <laughs> I had Thrawn uh, I'm later. Sorry. So. Um, I picked Thrawn because I feel like he'd want to get to know like galactic culture. And I think one of the best ways to infiltrate and like figure out what galactic culture is to bring back to the Chiss Ascendancy would be like, oh, I'm gonna join one of the most popular sport teams and you know, figure things out. And he's cool, he's cool and calculating and you know, he works out. He's he's pretty good. Like he, you know, he fights. So I'm pretty so, sure he'd be a good. He'd be a, oh, he'd be a beast. Ball he's guy. super athletic. Yeah. So Thrawn, shirtless like Thrawn, it. shirtless Shirt. Thrawn. Yep. Yes. Yep. Shirtless Thrawn. I had that in mind he, as well. He has a hairy chest. We see it, don't we? Do we? We or see his chest. Shirtless Is it hairy? I don't know. Shirtless Tarkin. Well, shir we see shirtless Tarkin. He's buff as hell. I know. We have to rank shirtless characters uh, in one of these episodes. I'm Googling shirtless Thrawn. Give, give me one sec. There'd be Ben, there'd be Tarkin. <laughs> shirtless Thrawn. Oh, Thrawn is shirtless on one of the covers when he has the long hair. Yeah. Oh, uh, right. 
shirtless Thrawn, shirtless Tarkin, Ben Solo, Anakin having his nightmare. There's, yeah. there's a lot. I shouldn't have Googled shirtless Thrawn. Mistakes Pretty much were made. Han Solo Cobb for like, Vanth, the entire we like, series. Uh, yep. Cobb Van, we wish. Rex in the, in the farm. Yep. Not Hunter, because they you put the shirtless bandage Thrawn. I googled shirtless Thrawn, and I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm making my I'm making my fic. <laughs> I have to delete my history. <laughs> Who's gonna look at it? Yourself. Me. <laughs> Later. Disappointed. <laughs> All right, for my striker, I'm gonna choose Carib Dis, Ooh, all aka right. new phone who dis. Um, very good. New new communicator who dis. Um, he is the guy that is his head is pretty much all teeth in the Rise of Skywalker at the bar on um, Kajimi. How do they get him, help him? How do they help him in, yeah. in this game? It's, it's yeah. very menacing. You see this guy running at you. You were gonna not. I mean, I wouldn't want to go near him. Yeah. You're That's just true. like I. I sh- <laughs> he has eyes, right? Or he has like a visual visor, like sensor yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Or he just sniffs his way. He doesn't have a nose either. No, I, I'm pretty sure because I, I think I cover that in the video, and it's like it's like he's got like a sensor like eye thing. Yeah, I remember that. He's mostly teeth. Mostly teeth. He's all teeth. Mostly teeth. So he's just intimidation, um, and I don't know if there's penalties in grab ball, but he's been uh, maybe he'll try to bite a couple people, and if there's penalties, we're screwed. If there isn't, maybe we got a chance. I don't know. <laughs> so there's my striker, um, and then I get to go again, right? Wing yes. attack. All right. Going on the other end of the intimidation meter here, and I'm choosing Salacious B Crumb because he is. It doesn't get any more nimble than that. You know, right. he's he's the wing attack on the side. I'm guessing so. You know, he'll he'll slither his way around, or not slither, but like scamper. Around. No one's gonna scamper. see him. Yeah, you can't keep scamper. up with him. He'll crack some jokes on the way, and he'll be like, "Whoa, that's good!" And then, whoop, he's by you. <laughs> um. So, so so far, if you're keeping track, I have Sabulba, Carib Dis, and Salacious P. Crumb. Holy <laughs> crap. Team. What a team. Oh, boy. I got to make some graphics of these teams. All right, Matt, who is your wing attack? Uh, actually, go before me because I want to pick a different person. That's not how this works. Okay, but sure. Um, <laughs> so my wing attack, I feel this is like the mirror position to striker, I would assume, right? Um, just another forward type position. Um, so I need someone who's going to compliment fives, and who better than Echo? So yeah, Echo is my to, wing attack. I'm starting to sense a, uh, a trend here. I no, don't you're really not. know what it is. There's no trend. What are you I'm, talking about? I'm starting to sense a trend, but I can't <laughs> quite figure it out right now. There's no trend. No, no trend. trend. No trend. Um, but yeah, it's Echo. What are you doing with Django over there? I don't know. For some reason, I thought you were going to choose Django, and I was like, oh, what if I predict it? And I popped him in, and it was not him. <laughs> Although, in a way, it is him. So, In a way. His in face way. is like all dinged up. See, look at this. Dinged up. What the heck happened to him? He looks like um, Jerry in uh, Seinfeld. That's supposed to be a scar. Diving. He has like a scar, I'm pretty sure. But he has like two of them. They really went overboard with that one. Yeah. That's like my Palpatine that has chicken pox. Have you ever seen that? I think so. There he is. Hold on, let's see if I can get I him close it. enough that you can. He looks like Snoke he's... there. They so gave the him eyes. like way too many like liver oh, spots. Smokes. <laughs> so he's just covered in chicken pox. I don't know <laughs> what the hell they were thinking with this guy. All right, All right, right. Matt, I give up. I give order. up looking for a new person. So I'm just gonna go with the guy I have. Okay. okay. King Katunko. King Katunko <laughs> of Toy Daria. <laughs> oh, right. I wanted to pick a Toy Darian. I made original Toy Darian characters, um, but then I couldn't do that anymore. So I figured I'd go because I've already done Watto like ten trillion times. But I wanted to pick because I took Wingman or Wing Wingman. Wingman. Wingman attack. <laughs> I took oh, Wing Attack. Wing like, attack. Literally. Yeah. Oh, so someone who I like that. Like, I picked, you know, swoop I in since grab boots are illegal. Yeah. So King Katunko. You could have chose Comrade Bug. Um, anybody? I could have. about Comrade Bug? Oh, man. I miss Comrade Bug. I'm sorry, buddy. Comrade Bug. No, but I'm going with Comrade King Bug. Katunko. I killed him. When? In Battlefront. I thought we were Comrade Bug. No. We were killing Comrade Bug. Or maybe mm. you were Comrade Bug and I was. Oh, we maybe, were yeah, yeah. Against each other. That was it. 
for those who don't know, Comrade Bug is uh, just one of the uh, Geonosians, correct? That we just started... any Geonosian you want. All yeah, any for some Geonosian. reason, we started referring to them as Comrade Bug um, while playing. Battle I don't Trump. know why Matt came up with it. <laughs> I don't there, know. There is an actual know comrade bug, but wait till you guys hear my kicker. Um, who's up? Uh, since we went out of Jamie's order, up. it's technically it's me Jamie. again because we're going backwards. Yeah. Uh, so the kicker. Um, I still don't. I'm not clear what these positions are on this team, but I'm assuming the kicker is someone you want who is a clutch person for scoring. Um, you don't get Greg much Beleg. more clutch on a shot than crosshair. Okay. I feel like so. he has skinny legs. But he can still Tooth, toothpick, make the shot. Toothpicks for legs. <laughs> toothpick legs. Toothpick legs crosshair. That's why you choose a toothpick. It'll That's work. Right. It'll work. It'll work. All right. Okay. No, He's we'll go kicker. with crosshair. We'll go with crosshair. Crosshair at kicker. Um, Matt, who is you didn't your pick kicker? kicks? No. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> who did I pick for my kicker? Ah, Max Rebo. Does he even have legs? I... He only has legs. <laughs> yeah, he does. Oh, that's what it was. Okay. <laughs> he just round He's an Ortolan. And, and in canon, Ortolans, for the most part, have only two two legs I love, and like, no the, like, arms. There's like comic art of him just like strutting around. Yeah. I love yeah, that. Yeah, I, I picture him kind of like Monsters U, the purple guy that Charlie Day plays. Yeah. That's like, that's what they are. So he has two legs, no arms. He's only legs. I think he's the perfect kicker. <laughs> and after, after the uh, the Oasis Lounge or whatever the hell it's the called, sanctuary, sanctuary uh, blows up. He needs to lie low for a little while. The iceberg launch. <laughs> the iceberg launch. <laughs> um, I'm very dis. All I can think of is that Jamie didn't pick kicks, but he... she did pick she kicks. Come... At some point down the line, I'm pretty sure she picked kicks. But, but not we'll for see. kicker. Okay. Um, He's, okay. Look, kicks isn't a good like offensive person. He support. is a defense guy. We'll get yeah. back to that. Just there we'll get is back to that. no reasoning for my next pick really for kicker. Um, I wanted to pick a Wookie just because you know they can kick for days. They have long legs and <laughs> probably um, yeah. maybe not like Max Rebo, but that's why Crosshair's picked. good. Long legs. Long I wanted to come legs. up with a great Wookie. I didn't want to go like generic and go with Chewy. We love Chewy, but I came up with Wandering Wookie. Yay! From Wandering the Lego Wookie. game. Uh, I he's love now him. My, he's my favorite Wookie. And yeah. I love him. No, yeah, that's that's a good pick. He was wandering around the galaxy and just stumbled upon this team and was like, all right, sure. I was like, I'll play. I'll yeah. play well traveled, matches. wants to just play with everybody and just hang out. That's, that's good. That's so good. I actually that's didn't pick him. Well. He was just around and volunteered. Yeah. So, yeah. So. We didn't, have, we didn't have to draft him. No, just, he's already there. He, he just <laughs> joined. Um, and I needed a protocol droid to understand him. So that's to true. translate. Yeah. Um, do I have to go next again? Fullback. Yes, the next Full position. Back. Um, I had Thrawn for this one because he's a beast, but I went with another shirtless legend, Grand Moff Tarkin. Ooh, I don't know when legend, this takes Grand place. <laughs> So it's going to be shirtless Tarkin. See, um, that's why I wanted to avoid Katunko because he dies in the Clone Wars, but all these other characters are like post -Clone This can just Wars. be like... Uh, it's... That can be, it can be King Katunko's uh, secret clone. They made a secret clone of him. Um, and he doesn't realize he's dead. Right. So he's, he's just there. <laughs> they, we, we offer a jersey to Tarkin, but he like rips it up and he's like, I'm not wearing that. Yeah, and he just runs like... out with shirtless. <laughs> oh, I should have picked... Cutting oh. up the jersey. Another shirtless legend is Sando uh, Aqua Monster. Buckets of Blood. Buckets of oh, Torban Buck. He takes dude. off his. <laughs> yes. At the Battle of Starlight? What would you call it? The Tragedy uh, yeah. of Starlight? Yeah, whatever. it's the yeah. Battle of Starlight. He rips yeah. off his robes and runs in with it, in a diaper. Imagine Buckets of Blood and Kit Fisto just like hanging out. Another shirtless legend. Kit Another Fisto. shirtless Ooh. legend. Crap, too many shirtless legends. We're going to have to come up with every shirtless character from Star Wars. All right, I'm on it. Okay. Anyway. That's Matt going on it. Um, <laughs> fullback, Matt. Fullback. All right. I went with the nameless Jacoon that we see in the background at Canto Bite in the Force in the Last Jedi. The who? <laughs> so the Jacoon, you know, it's that little like guy the with the balloon on his balloon back, butt. On his butt, and he like floats <laughs> around. I went with that guy because I think he's, he's the ball. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I was the ball. 
No, he confuses them by making them think he's the ball. When in reality, he just floats on by. He just floats right on by. This is good. This, this is was good. the position that was supposed to be like tough, right? It was supposed. To, I think so. Supposed to like defend the. the I don't know how that guy's going to do defending. I don't. It's going to be all mind games. Okay. He's going to be quick. He's going to be. He's going to be zooming around. <laughs> Does he go around quick? Is he like yeah. a deflating b balloon in the air? Just like... <laughs> yes. Yes, that is what he does. He'll grab the ball from you at any point in time. You don't uh, know. You don't know him. You can't... Uh, I don't know him. Right. You don't even know me. Gosh. That's fair. So, uh, fullback. So, question. So, is the fullback, would you consider they're more like versatile, <laughs> both defense and offense? Or are they yeah. more just, they like, can kinda, just defense? They're the... The first line of defense before the defenders, who are next. Okay. So they, yeah, I imagine they go both ways. Okay. Well, then I'm going to pick Hunter, because he definitely goes both ways. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so does um, his head bend? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No. Uh, yeah, I think that for a fullback, you definitely need uh, the offense and defense together, and Hunter can be that mediator between both of the like sections of the team, um, can also take initiative when needed, and can also pretty much murder you if you cross a line. So Yeah, which is good, because murder is, is a key part of grab. Gra Murderous, ball. yeah. Uh, okay. He also frequently like sneaks a knife on fields, and um, that's not allowed, so there's sometimes penalties from him, but he's okay. Don't Him and Carib Dis like get into tussles <laughs> all the yeah. time. Teeth and knives. Uh, Kuhn doesn't like him either. Sharp <laughs> objects make him uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they're always like button heads if like that comes up. Um. <laughs> cool, I like it. Um, the next one is defenders, like two defenders. I guess just pick both of yours at once. Who cares? Okay, so our two defenders. Um, like I said, there's not a theme here, guys. Uh, but my defenders no. are a duo that uh, need to make sense working together. Um, I'm going to go with Kix and Jesse because they have proved themselves that they work really well together. And you want Kix on your side when it comes to defense. And Jesse is just, like, the best when it comes to, like, actually, like, following orders. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but they are, like, a really good duo. And they work well under Rex. And they'll work with hunter if need be so it works I'm out surprise hard case isn't on this team you know he He'd almost nuts. was i mean he, i guess he could be the keeper still he almost was on the team but he like goes too off the rails way too quickly like it, it didn't make sense yet he's um he's on he the didn't alternates. make the cut he's yeah, on yeah. the alternates he's on the practice squad okay. yeah there you go <clears throat> okay um matt okay. two defenders two defenders if you take mine no one there's no way you take mine there's no way i take yours Right. I picked, so for my first defender, because I forgot to pick two, and now I'm pulling another one out of my butt. Um, the first one is Sarko Plank. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I think no eyes would be a perfect... Um, Thumb, thumbnail head? Yeah, literally, he's got like a thumbnail for like a face. Thumb um, defense. He's, he could sense vibrations. He can, you know... Always important. Yeah, he, he'll, he'll know where you are. He'll he'll be able to like sense you in the air with his weird bug face, and to go to keep with the bug theme, I'm picking one of the Dengu sisters from oh, Maz Kanata's castle. From the, yeah, uh, I was looking for an individual name. They do not have individual names, unfortunately. They are just the Dengu really? sisters. Really? Okay. All right. Um, but yeah, so one Dengu sister and Sarko Plank, my bug defenders. <laughs> The bug defenders. The bug defenders. Cool. Comrade um, bug. I'm going with, for my two defenders, the two Gamorian guards from Book of Boba Fett. Oh. <laughs> Dude, RIP. R and they're going to be, I want to say they're going to be good, but I feel like they just get like run by each time. I don't know. Are they good? They're not good. that fast. They, they pack a punch they're, if you run into them. They're they seem faster dumb. than like normal fast. Gamorians. Yeah, that's true. They're slick. They're we slick. do see them haul Slim. ass. Yeah. And then all ass off the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> they land on someone's house and they survive. That's dude. I'm telling you, that's exactly what happens. They're sitting down for dinner, and all of a sudden, <laughs> two Gamorians just fall right on their table, that hurt. and they're like, "Who wants pork?" <laughs> but then they get up and they and they leave. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I just picture them with their dumb looks, just like 
You run, you run at them with the ball, and they're, they're, that's what's and in they're front sitting of you. there like. <laughs> <laughs> um, for my keeper, uh, I had to go with someone big, someone that's going to defend the the final line there of defense. Uh, Mama the Hut. Oh, Ooh. she is Whoa. a brick wall. Yeah, brick Mama wall, the Mama the Hut. Yeah. Yeah, that's mine. Nothing else to say there. Could have gone with Gracchus now that I'm thinking of it. Buff Hut. I was kind of, oh, I was Another kind of we'd all go with legend. huts in net, in uh, in goal. But no, I have a good, I have a good keeper. I'm proud of my keeper. Okay, who is it? Fode and Bead. Who? Fode and Bead. Fode and Bead. What is who is that? It's the uh, oh, la, 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 la. oh the the, the announcers. Oh yeah, the announcers. the announcers. I actually was just. Li- <laughs> I, I thought you said all one word. <laughs> No, it's Fode uh, and Bead. Ma- oh, Hanuk. so Fode and Spade. And, yeah. Yes. Uh, so there's technically two of them, but they're on one body, so I think it counts. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and they're very wide. And I think having, like, both, like, sides of the brain controlled by, like, a different person makes you, like, quicker and more agile. Because the keeper is, like, the goalie, right? I'm yeah. pretty yeah. sure they're, like, the goalie. So yeah. put him in front of the goal. He's he's jumping Cat back dog, and forth. Isn't it? He's go- yeah, dude. Honestly. He's it's got d- it. Double the awareness. Double Dex the awareness. would have been a good pick, now that I think yeah, of it. Yeah, he would have. Well, he's got multiple arms. His pants would have been falling down. Gracchus the Hut is is the, the only pick that anybody should have gone with. I mean, we all failed. Yeah. Well, we haven't heard Jamie's yet. <laughs> Although, <laughs> Gee, I uh, wonder what it be very, be. all well, clones and then Gracchus the Hut. <laughs> you know, I may make a last minute change here um, for my keeper. Um Originally, I was going to pick Wrecker, but then I remembered he's blind in one eye. <laughs> so, is that That's a good true. choice? No, because they're, hit, they're hitting it on his right side, and he's not going to be able He'd to miss it all day. He has a weak spot, and it yeah. just brings the team down, and he knows it. So, uh, my keeper is uh, Moochie. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, fine. They That's trained fair. Moochie. Yeah, it's a, it's a small, small rancor. To be, yeah, small rancor and listens to Wreckers. So Wreckers just on the sidelines, like, left, left, go left. Or maybe Wreckers <laughs> on his back. Yes, there you go. It's so The goalie is Moochie and Wrecker. And Wrecker. There you go. Moochie, um, or Wrecker riding Moochie in front but, of the goal. Yeah, that's like exactly it. what it is. Moochie um, takes care of, is it his right eye or his left eye? His left eye. Her. So, oh, wait. Moochie, right, I was, her left eye. Re- Moochie's Wrecker. eye. No, oh, no, for no. Wrecker, okay. I'm saying yeah, yeah. Is Moochie blind in one eye, too? No. 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 Moochie takes care of Wrecker's left side. Wrecker's got the right side. There okay. you go. Um, and then honorable mention, the team manager is Tech. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, team manager. Because he, he's not did allowed to. Did we already go through play. all of them? We did. Um, yeah, we did. That's, that's my team. What is the name of your team? My team is the Anaxis GBC, the Anaxis Grab Ball Club. Wow, Ooh, that's well, you're good. going. You're going European. You're going yeah. European football I like club it. there. I like it. Yeah. Um. All right. The coronet trashy walks. That's beautiful. The coronet trashy. Walks. Or you know what, coronet trash worms. Because uh, you know the white worms. Yeah. And like lady pastel and whatnot. I like right. that. And my team will be, um, the worst batch. <laughs> just simply the, the worst, worst batch. batch i like it um comment below whose team would win maybe we'll do a poll again on twitter i think we will vote for who me would, please who you would guys? win grab ball you're Anybody? gonna like post a picture of mine and it's just like the entire cast of the bad batch and they're gonna be like what is this <laughs> <laughs> the bad batch like season seven arc honestly plus fives <laughs> you should have had um you should have had 99 be a team manager no um he owns the team okay he's not the manager he's the owner get, he Fair just enough. bought the team yes that's his retirement job he bought the team yeah he sold the what well, they gave him like a medal right or something yeah yeah so he, he they sold all, that medal they all pulled their medals together and yep. then they they sold the medals <laughs> okay and then bought the team um tech is the manager and my owner is lady proxima omega does pr and she is an absolute bitch dude <laughs> i've got i've such a newfound respect for the what is lady Grab proxima ball? species uh white worm. worm 
I don't know. They're, but what are their names? Because they play a big role in Midnight Horizon. And I'm reading Midnight Horizon right now. And it's it's like they have like characters who are, what are they? What are they? Grindalid. 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 That's the pronunciation. Grindalid. They're great. <laughs> the crimes <laughs> of Grindalid. You don't know. <laughs> uh, cool. But yeah. There you go. I didn't pick a team manager. Um, looking around, looking Picking around. Owner. What's the name of your team? Oh, the, bet, the worst Veers. batch. General Ve- hey, General Veers doesn't have a cannon death, I don't think. So. All right, he's in. So he, he goes and he manages to grab ball team. I like it. Yep. He gets the hell out of Hoth. Which, speaking of which, <laughs> visit Hoth. Um, oh, yeah. Go check out Only Hope Supply. Use our 10% off code, Marauders. Uh, have a good look time. At, look at this guy's square butt. Look at that. <laughs> It's from... That's bad. I don't know what it's from. The cold weather would, will do that to you on off. That's right. He, he sat in the chair too long and he just formed to it and it's a square. It's tragic. Poor viewers. Um, wow. Yeah. So what have we done? Maybe we should have we, we kept taking a break. <laughs> no, I think this was fun. <laughs> I think this was up there with our Q&A episodes of just being a mess. I love it. When we're messy, we're at our best. That's true. I like that. Yeah, that's that's true. Um, I just well, look, I just look in the private chat we have here behind the scenes, and it just says shirtless Thrawn. Shirtless Thrawn. Did I type that? <laughs> yes, yeah. you did. Okay, you... all right. Because <laughs> what do you mean? Did you type that? Well, I didn't mean to type that. I I, I meant to Google it. <laughs> you just typed it in I the private chat. I accidentally typed it into the chat. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well. Um, Matt needs to go clear his uh, search history now so oh, he no. can uh, be free of that pain, which we should have um, warned him about in the first place, but whatever. Um, thank you so much for listening to the Holland Marauders podcast. Uh, we made some uh, wonderful grav ball teams that oh, yeah. were pretty Graf predictable. Ball honestly uh the unpredictable predictable uh you can find us everywhere on social media at holland marauders on twitter it is just at holland marauder if you've been doing the audio version of this we have a video version of the podcast as well on youtube uh, youtube.com slash holland marauders uh you can find us everywhere there uh thank you so much for listening to the holland marauders podcast see ya